Welcome to today's five-minute Bible study in the book of Hebrews. We're early in Hebrews chapter 2. The author begins to talk about this great salvation. Now, he's already told us that the, the Son is the one through whom God's final word comes. For the Son, He is the Son of God. He is God Himself come in the flesh, greater than the angels, because He's God. And He's come to provide salvation for us. And this message of salvation, this message of the great salvation, we must never neglect or ignore. Notice what he says as we begin chapter 2. We must pay the most careful attention, therefore, to what we've heard, so that we do not drift away. For since the message spoken through angels was binding, and every violation and disobedience received its just punishment, how shall we escape if we ignore so great a salvation? Now this salvation which was first announced by the Lord, was confirmed to us by those who heard him. And God also testified to it by signs and wonders and various miracles and by gifts of the Holy Spirit distributed according to his will. So now the author is going to talk about this great salvation. And notice he says this salvation came with Jesus. Son of God has come in the flesh as our Savior. That's what it means he was first announced by the Lord. You remember when Jesus began his public ministry, he began by proclaiming that the kingdom of God had arrived. To be saved is to enter into the kingdom of God, to become a part of his kingdom, to be delivered from the kingdom of this world, which is under the control of the evil one, to be delivered from that and to come into the kingdom of God, which is advancing in the world. The day will come when the kingdom will be all. When every knee will bow, every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord. But we've already entered the kingdom when we experienced Jesus. He came announcing the arrival of the kingdom, for he is the king. So this salvation was first announced by the Lord. It was confirmed by those who heard him, that is, the apostles. The apostolic witness, of course, is to Jesus, to who Jesus was, to how he died for us, and how he rose again. So the, the word first came by Jesus. He, he came told us the kingdom is here. And it was confirmed by those who saw and testified and witnessed and gave proclamation to the arrival of the kingdom, the apostolic witness. And also it was authenticated by signs and wonders and various miracles. You know, during Jesus' ministry, of course, he was healing the sick. He was delivering those who were controlled by evil, setting the demonized free. Uh, he was doing miracles, uh, stealing the water on the sea. and uh, all, all of these were signs and authentications that he was the king. And the apostles continued that as they proclaimed the ministry of Jesus, as they proclaimed the gospel, their message was authenticated by signs, by wonders, by miracles. It was in the early church. It always, always has been. Uh, the, you remember when Jesus told his disciples, you're going to go out and do what you've seen me do. You're going to go out. Healings will occur. Miracles will occur because you are preaching the gospel in my name. You remember one of the early miracles was the day Peter and John were going into the temple and there was a man there who was lame who was begging for help. And Peter said, you know, I don't have any silver or gold. I don't have any money to give you. But what I have, I will give you in the name of Jesus. Rise and walk. And the man did. You see, it was in the name of Jesus, the signs and the miracles accompany the apostolic witness. So this great salvation was brought to us by Jesus. It brings us the kingdom of God. It was confirmed by the apostles who saw and gave witness to it. And it was authenticated by the signs and wonders. And also by gifts of the Holy Spirit. In other words, the power, the presence of the Holy Spirit in the kingdom and in those who believe. Confirming who Jesus is. So you see, we see the Trinity here. The Father sending the Son, all confirmed by the presence of the Holy Spirit, shown by his gifts to the church. This is the great salvation. You know, the message of the church is all about the message of salvation. Jesus has come, the Son of God, our Savior. The apostles told us, and now that apostolic witness continues in the church, all authenticated by signs and wonders and by the powerful presence of of the Holy Spirit. Oh, indeed, this is that great salvation brought to us in and through faith in.
Jesus. So we must never neglect it, but we must believe and hold firm to it. Now, as chapter 2 continues, and we'll look at this in our next session, the author gives us more details about how Jesus brings us this great salvation, how he came as our Savior. So join us next time for our five-minute Bible study in the book of Hebrews.